In this topic, we are going to discuss another component of pre-departure training, which is basically uh, the uh, training of uh, the expatriate in a training role. So basically, it is training of the trainer uh, who is the expatriate who is going to another culture. Uh, why expatriates are hired? They are hired because uh, they, there is a skill gap uh, in the host country and that skill gap needs to be uh, filled. Uh, now, in order to fill that skill gap, these expatriates, they have to transfer knowledge to the host country nationals and therefore, it is inherent in the expatriates job most of the time, that they are supposed to make uh, host country nationals learn the skills which are not, uh, which they do not possess. So, expatriates, they are trainer due to lack of suitably trained staff in the host location. And they have to be prepared for the role of trainers to the host country nationals. Uh, Although uh, this is a very important role of the expatriate uh, assignees, of the expatriate managers, uh, but the research data shows that specific training regarding training as a trainer is not given to expatriates. Uh, usually people approach it in their own different ways and that is something which can affect the learning process. Uh, so how much they are um, able to uh, convey, how much they are able to teach, how much they are able to train the host country nationals, that, is, uh, that depends on various different factors. So knowledge transfer basically it depends on, first of all, individual's readiness to transfer knowledge. Ke, uh, jo expatriate hai, wo, uh, uske andar itni motivation hai, itni readiness hai, कि वो नॉलेज को ट्रांसफर करना चाहता हो वो लोगों को सिखाना चाहता हो और इसके अंदर बहुत सारी फिर फैक्टर्स आ जाते हैं जो कि दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अदर टॉपिक्स दैट व्हाट आर द रीजंस और व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स व्हिच डिटरमिन अ पर्सनस रेडीनेस फॉर बीइंग रेडी टू ट्रेन अदर पीपल इट इंक्लूड्स पर्सनालिटी इट इंक्लूड्स एटीट्यूड्स इट इंक्लूड्स मोटिवेशन एंड सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स uh, it also depends on the organization's receptivity to knowledge. Uh, so whether the subsidiary is receptive, uh, receptive towards knowledge, whether those people who are being trained by these expatriates, are they receptive? Is the organizational culture a culture of learning? Are people ready to accept the expatriate in a role of someone who can train them and who and someone who can teach them. If the host country nationals are in them, this attitude is that we are very good, we are not good, we are not good, we are not good, then the expatriate or the outside person will accept the role in the training. So it depends on the organizational receptivity. Uh, knowledge transfer uh, can, be, uh, it can be best gained in the process of repatriation. Repatriation is a very important aspect of this entire international activity. Um, uh, the organization can learn a lot from the repatriation process. Uh, the uh, knowledge about the market of the host country, the knowledge about the culture of the host country, what resources to tap in the host country, how to move around in the host country and maximize the the, the resource uh, utilization, all these things, they are going to be, uh, uh, they are going to be learned by the expatriate. Jis bande ko aap bhej rahe hai, host country ke andar, usko ye sab baate pata hongi. So, jab wo banda repatriate ho ke wapis aata hai, apne parent country ke andar, wo ye sab information lekar aapke paas aata hai. So, ye information aapki apni organizational development ke liye, international exposure ke liye, international expansion ke liye, ye sub information aap ke liye critical hai aur is liye your organization can learn the best from the repatriation process. Therefore, uh, the repatriates, they should be assigned to strategic teams which define the strategy of the organization 
and this is something which can help the organization uh, expand its global positioning, improve its global positioning, and become a global leader um, uh, in, in the entire world. So um, people who go for expatriate assignments, they play the role of trainers, training host country nationals, and when they are repatriated, they train the parent country nationals about the host country as well. So they play the role of a trainer in a dual sense. So this is also an important part of the training of uh, on, on international assignments.